remember this girl from Dawson City and we're, we're doing like an icebreaker we're saying like, what are you good at? And she said, I'm good at hockey. And the boy behind, beside her said, I'm good at baking. And then we're just like, we didn't even start the workshop yet. And they were already like just breaking the boxes of the gender boxes of like, yes. <laughs> so that was a yeah. <laughs> defining moment. You're not aware of how much you instill or what you say can, can, can really uh, encourage people. There's this young girl that I know, and I don't think you realize how much impact you have on people until something like this happens. And she was on the radio talking about how inspirational and how motivating and how I made her feel so much of you know who she was. But she was so moved. She went on the radio and she was talking about me. She never said it to my face. For me, that was, it was almost heartbreaking because I never, I never really thought that I was being that much of a force in her life. We had one girl who had some pretty significant mental health concerns. She identified that um, she had a lot of anxiety and she came to group and she sat on the outside of the circle. Um, the second group came along, she arrived and again she sat on the outside of the circle. We went through our group, the, the girls were starting to feel a little bit more connected um, and I could, I could see her kind of smiling every now and then but again she was on the outside, didn't participate. So the third group came, and then about halfway through the group, she just very, very slowly brought her chair into the circle. So after two groups, the rest of these girls were just, they just were so welcoming to this girl, and there was no judgment about her sitting on the outside. There was no like, oh, she's weird. There's something wrong with her. My hunch is that she was forced often, pushed into those kind of situations. And in this situation, she was allowed her time and space to be able to come into the group. And I just remember thinking, this, that's what it's about. The key message I give the girls in girls' space all the time is, you have a voice, use it. And um, a parent called me one day and told me that her daughter had disclosed that she had been sexually abused when the girl was five years old and she was older now. And when the mother asked the daughter why she had never told her all this time that this had happened to her, she said, I didn't realize I had a voice. So that really made me realize I have a great capacity to make a difference in these young girls' lives.